everyone, I hope you're well. So I'm here to do a review of the newest of the Kasori air fryer family. This is the Turbo Blaze 6 litre air fryer. It has a ton of functions. It's got a couple of new ones and I'm just basically here to share that with you. And if you stay tuned to the end, I'll be sharing three of my favourite recipes that I love to air fry. As you know, I'm a massive fan of the air fryer. I have used mine for the last, I think 18 months, maybe getting on to two years. And it's a mini oven that I pretty much use every single night. It's just that added extra into my day. It cuts out the time of using the oven and also just the efficiency of the electric as well, because it's so much quicker. As you can see, this one is six litre. It is really, really big. Um, it is non-stick, it's got the crisp tray which my original one had that as well so you can add this in to make things extra crispy, that's the capacity, it's really nice and big, great for a family, it's all dishwasher safe so you can throw everything in the dishwasher and I've always done that. Um, a new feature that I did notice is that there is a button here now so when you um, Go to take out your air fryer you actually press a button to pull it out instead of just pull um, I suppose that's kind of more of a safety feature it also has a um, little thing here where you can actually tie I haven't actually done it yet but you can actually wrap around the cables it's like a cable um, tidy I would say at the back which I think is really useful um, because sometimes when you've got it on the counter I keep mine on the counter pretty much all the time the cables just kind of hanging loose so it's nice to tidy it away make it look a bit nicer generally it is um, a really lovely looking um, air fryer it's got a lovely gloss touch screen top um, it fits under the um, cabinets really nicely and it's a great size like I said six Six litres, great for a family. We're a family of five and it's just perfect. Um, it's got the standard settings of air fry, bake, roast. It's got proof. It's got keep warm, which is so useful. It's got the frozen, the grill. And a new one, which I've never had on my air fryer, is the dehydrate, which I think is really, really cool. So you can dehydrate things like fruits and veggies make crisps and whatever. So that is definitely a new function, nine in one functions, touchscreen control. Um, it cuts down, like I said, it cuts down time with cooking and using le electricity, which is always, um, always a win-win, I think, especially when you've got children. What's also great is that the new Kasori Blaze Turbo is 46% faster than the 5.5 litre Kasori, which is amazing, especially if you're trying to cut costs at the moment, the electricity bill is going so high, um, this will actually cook a lot quicker, more efficient. Um, also don't forget to check out the Black Friday sale because there's a massive discount at the moment on these um, air fryers and the Kasori brand in general. So I will leave everything linked in the description bar and I really hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out, stay tuned for the three uh, recipes I have got um, for you as well. So the first video that I'm going to show you, or recipe shall I say, is baked bagel eggs. Super simple. Um, I've been adding pesto to it just because I have an obsession with pesto and eggs at the minute. Um, I'm using a paper liner purely just for ease and um, convenience really. Um, yeah, so this goes in the air fryer for 195 for 10 minutes. And here's how it come out. You can obviously do it less time if you want more of a runny egg, but this was perfect for me. So the second recipe is baked oats. Oh my God, these are absolutely amazing and you can actually prepare them ahead of time and just pop them in the fridge and reheat them. Anyway, this makes two baked oats. So you need one egg, 45 ml of milk. You can make it dairy free. I add 70 grams of oats. Um, I actually blitz mine up to like a fine powder, but again, you can add them as rolled oats a teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of baking powder and your choice of whatever you fancy. I put in some blackberries which I heated because they were originally in the freezer from when we picked them and then I also added milk, uh, white chocolate chips and then you'll see I add some Biscoff which is my go-to spread at the minute. Um, again these are so so simple to make. Um, you can see I'm portioning them out right now 
and then I add a dollop of Biscoff and then top it with the oat mixture. These go into the air fryer for 180 on the bake setting for 10 minutes. And here's how they look when they come out. They are so gooey, the center is amazing. And like I said, you can prepare these ahead of time as well. These are actually my favorite way to make chips. So I either do them in a chip form, as you can see I'm cutting them quite thinly, or I do the wedges. So the kids absolutely love these as well. So all I literally do is wash the potatoes, add a good squirt of mayo, and then I use a all-purpose sort of seasoning. Again, you can use whatever seasonings you want, but the all-purpose one, I don't know, it just gives me that um, Nando's vibe. It's just so nice. Give it a good mix. Um, and the mayonnaise just make them extra crispy. And then they go straight in the air fryer for 195 for 20 minutes. Um, you literally just leave them, no need to shake or shuffle. Um, and then I usually do this sometimes as well for meal prepping. So I actually did it this time. Um, so I did two portions and then I actually put some salmon in as well. So that's how they look when they come out, delicious. Um, I pop some salmon in, which you can actually put them in both at the same time and just pull the salmon out slightly earlier. Um, this was a Thai glazed um, salmon, which I popped in the air fryer for uh, 10 minutes. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the information in the description bar.